Okay, so we're going to look at the alignment of the load cell on the bottom of the grinder. So remove the residue trays. Go ahead and flip the grinder upside down. And on the bottom, you will see these two uh, Phillips head screws in the middle of what I call a little window down here. This is a spacer. These two tabs are keeping the spacer from going below the plane that it's touching over here. There's another tab on the, what will be the top side that's keeping it from going too low. Okay. Um, so if the first thing what I suggest is to loosen the screws, just a tad to make sure they're not overly tight. Sometimes people put things together overly tight and that can cause its own problems. Then tighten just a normal human being amount. The two screws holding the spacer in the window and then tighten the two screws at the end of the residue tray. These are actually holding everything in position. So these are the more important. You tighten them and make sure that you don't budge that spacer left or right when it's happening. We're in pretty much the middle of the window where we are not touching anything. And that should leave the load cell free to, if you push on it from above, you can see a slightly imperceptible movement. Same thing when you push down, it should be able to move up and down. Don't push too hard. That's just to verify that it is actually able to work.